Hi everyone, this is your chess puzzler. The Paris Grand Chess Tour is taking place between the 21st and 25th of June and after three rounds these are the standings with two people tying for first. Flip to the bottom of the table and you will see some people who really belong elsewhere but what is new? We should be getting used of these settings and especially when it comes to blitz and rapid tournaments. The leader Carlsen pulled a good trick on France's best for Le Graf in the round three game in an interesting encounter that lasted just short of 40 moves. Carlsen with whites went for e4 and with c5, knight f3, d6, d4, takes, takes, knight f6, knight c3 and now Vahir goes for a6, the most solid defence black has, the knight of. With bishop e2, Vahir Lagrave went for the most aggressive move, anyone? e5. And with knight f3, bishop e7, and now bishop g5, black has plenty of options to choose from. Vahir Lagrave went for the defensive knight bd7, but if I come back, this move... Bishop e6 is as good. With a4, b6, just stopping the pawn from advancing, Carlsen brought his knight back to d2, with the idea to reroute him to this square. With h6, Carlsen exchanged his bishop for the knight, and with knight c4, black got his bishop in on b7, and now a5. Going for the knight, Carlsen secured him on b6, and with the threat on a8, you would expect the rook to move. Any ideas of what Vahila Graf came up with in 2, 1 and pause? Knight takes e4 and he went for this variation. Knight recaptures, bishop recaptures and you would expect Carlsen to grab the rook and yet he didn't. And rather went for an equally interesting option, bishop f3. Forcing the exchange on f3, the rook found a7, and with c4, d5, and now c takes, Vahir came in with a check, pushing Carlsen's king out in the open. With bishop takes, if you remove the bishop, after queen takes, queen a3 can be used not only to protect the rook, but also stop black from castling. Coming back, after this bishop takes move, we saw knight takes d5, and with a takes and now b4, bishop b6 was the only logical move. And with rook takes and bishop takes, rook a1 forced the bishop to b8. Queen d3 led to castles. And after grabbing the pawn, Vahila Graf advanced his pawn to e4. g3 stops all sorts of funny ideas black has to get his queen involved on the king's side. But rather than getting the queen active, Vahila Graf went for the rook, bringing him to a much better place. Queen g5 led to king f1, and now Vahila Graf went for it with f5. Queen e2 adds protection to this pawn, should the queen come in on the h file. But for now, this is not possible because Carlsen has it all covered. Also, this knight here is very powerful because white always has a check on e7. Getting the king out of any checks was what caused Vahila Graf the game because he allowed f4. Anbasan led to the removal of the bishop and Vahila Graf by now knew he had blundered and if you blunder against Carlsen, he's not going to let you escape. Queen h5 went for this pawn but Carlsen was not concerned too much about it and came in with knight f4. Having gone for it, with queen takes, Carlsen forked the king and rook, and with king h7, he grabbed the rook with a fresh check, and only after he placed his rook on h8, the knight returned with a fresh check, pushing the king back to h7, but this time the knight came in on h4, stopping the queen from finding g2. Having only queen h1, Vahila Graf went for it, and with king f2, and now queen takes, Carlsen came in with a check, and having removed yet another pawn, Vahir resigned. There is no point to even continue from this position, because after king g8, queen e6 check, 
King h7 and another check on e4, this pawn is free to walk. The pawn here can be eliminated and this is why the Hiller graph gave up. Carlsen is expected to do well, but you never know until the fat lady sings. Many thanks for taking part and many, many thanks for watching. Much more on this to follow.